As 2009 came to an end, there was some disappointment, certainly in the United States, that the negotiators who had been working so hard in Geneva did not complete work on a new strategic arms reduction treaty. I think the reason for that was in part because the Russian side toughened up its position. And one reason they did that, we can speculate, is that they thought that perhaps President Obama needed an agreement more than the Russian side did. President Obama, Obama did not and does not need it more than the Russian side does. This is a treaty that will be valuable to both sides, and he certainly didn't want to confirm the Russian negotiating tactic here. So he has held out for a treaty which meets certain basic standards, one of which is that it will be uh, accepted by the Senate and ratified by the Senate as a treaty that can be verified reliably. And so the reason for the delay between the end of 2009 and the beginning of 2010 is America driving a pretty hard bargain with regard to verification measures. My guess, which I would cautiously offer, is that there will still be an agreement that it will face some significant skepticism in the Senate, but at the end of the day, it will be ratified.